Tonight's top story, Newt Gingrich's stock rising in Florida ahead of the state's winner-take-all primary next week. He's fresh off that double-digit win in South Carolina Saturday. Will Florida be the final firewall in the GOP race? Here with analysis, Bill Crystal, editor of the Weekly Standard. Bill, welcome to the show. Great to have you here. I want to start Hi, with something else entirely, though. What about that Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels? Are you backing him now? Is this a change for you? No, I've always thought there were awfully good people who aren't running this year, and they might be better candidates than those who are running. Mitt Romney was a pretty good one-term governor of Massachusetts. He left in 2006. Rather than running for re-election, probably wouldn't have won. And Newt Gingrich was a very effective member of Congress for a couple of decades, but left in 1998, obviously sort of driven out by his own members. Uh, they're both impressive men, but you've got to think a guy who's actually been governor of a swing state over the last eight years has actually cut spending, balanced the budget, cut taxes, been a very impressive governor, pleased the Republican business community and pleased the more populist conservative uh, world in Indiana. Shouldn't someone like Mitch Daniels think about running? Anyway, it's an, I floated the idea. Um, a young man, uh, Matt McKillop, has got a website going, runmitchrun.com. Uh, Daniels happens to be responding to President Obama's State of the Union speech tomorrow night. People will have a chance to see. Is this a guy who maybe uh, should be encouraged to join the race? Well, Bill, to that point, I mean, he's not a fresh face to Republicans, but he is to many voters out there. Is it too late to introduce yet another new possible GOP run running person? <laughs> I don't think so. It's been an awfully fluid race, as you know, Jerry. Newt Gingrich was down, what, I think 37 to 14 to Mitt Romney in the Gallup National Poll less than a week ago. Uh, today, I noticed it's 29 28. Obviously, Republican voters are, are fluid. They're moving around. They're rethinking this race every time they get some new information. Uh, maybe Mitt or Newt will, will be fine, uh, but I, I think there's openness to someone else, sure. Well, a little bit more about Newt. He uh, is leading in at least one poll uh, in Florida right now, taking the lead in a Rasmussen poll with 41 uh, percent. He certainly can talk the talk. Uh, why do you think he may not walk the walk? I think he may. You know, I think generally he's underrated. I mean, he's, he, he's gotten taken a lick, licking a few times in this campaign and has kept on ticking and has had pretty impressive comebacks. Maybe this time, too, he'll have a comeback and then he'll fade again. But I wouldn't count on it. I, I knew Newt pretty well when he was a congressman and rising from a backbencher who was causing trouble for the Democratic majority to minority whip to someone who opposed the Bush budget deal. And first Bush administration, I was in that. That was kind of painful. Mm -hmm. uh, and then someone who helped engineer the Republican takeover of the House. I, I would not underestimate Newt Gingrich. And I think the great achievement he's made, people can quarrel about his conservative credentials and say, oh, he wasn't conservative on this, he wasn't on that. The fact is he's made it. By, say, by saying it over and over again, and partly due to also to his own background and Mitt Romney's background, he's made it a conservative versus a moderate race. He's running, he, he says it over and over again as the Reagan conservative. Uh, he's right. done a pretty good job of making Mitt Romney the Massachusetts moderate. I think the Sarah Palin uh, quasi endorsement of Newt last week helped cement the sense that Newt is the conservative right. populist. A lot and of I think it's a good thing to be a conservative uh, populist in this race. Yeah. A lot of people out there say Newt has high negatives. A lot of people don't like Newt, uh, in fact, many. And here's what Chris Christie had to say over the weekend about him. Pretty stinging uh, rebuke here. Listen to this. We all know the record. I mean, he was run out of the speakership by his own party. He was fined $300,000 for ethics violations. This is a guy who's had a very difficult political career at times and it has been an embarrassment to the party you remember these times you were here so the fact of the matter is i don't need to regale the country with that entire list again except to say this i'm not saying he will do it again in the future but sometimes past his prologue i gotta tell you i wish mitt could be this tough what do you make of those well, comments <laughs> well I, I i urged chris christie to run a few months ago and right. he, well, <laughs> I, I think maybe mitt he's a pretty articulate exponent of that point of view I would just say a couple of things also. Um, look, criticism of Gingrich is totally fair, as is criticism of Romney's record. But I've got to say this in defense of Gingrich. You know, an awful lot of Gingrich fought the fight. He fought the liberals in the 70s. He fought them in the 80s. He fought them in the 90s. He made a ton of mistakes. There were issues where he wasn't a pure conservative, and there were just tactical things he, he messed up. But it's a little bit much for someone like Mitt Romney or people supporting Mitt Romney. Where was Mitt Romney when Newt Gingrich was fighting the people who were trying to destroy the Reagan administration, when, we, when Newt Gingrich was trying to take over uh, the Congress from the Democrats, when he was pushing welfare reform? I mean, so I, I think the, the Chris Christie attack, it's, it's, it's rhetorically effective. It's everything Christie does. But uh, I'm not sure how much it really ends up helping Romney. It might hurt Gingrich a little bit. 
Uh, what does Florida want? Look, uh, one every in every 360 homes in that state in foreclosure, 9.9% .9 unemployment rate, lots of financial problems down there. How do you think Florida is going to go, and what are the big issues for people in that state? You know, obviously the economy is huge, but I think there's a bunch of issues that are big, including can either of these people beat President Obama? Romney has benefited from the sense, which has been backed up by most of the polls so far, that he would be a better general election candidate than uh, Gingrich against Obama. He might well be. He seems steadier. There is a Gallup poll today that shows them running equally against Obama. Mm -hmm. If that holds up, I think there might be more in instinct to go with your heart and, and be for Gingrich anyway. I think a bold economic plan. I guess I'd say this. The other thing that's helping Gingrich, again, fairly or unfairly, is the perception that th we have a big crisis, huge debt, big problems. We need bold ideas. Gingrich misfires sometimes, but he is bold. Uh, Romney just seems timid, and he doesn't seem quite right for the times. It may be unfair. It may be unfair, but mm -hmm. I think that's the perception that the Romney campaign has allowed to get out there. Well, uh, the, the battle will go on. I hope you'll come back. I really enjoyed it. And we'll be listening to Mitch Daniels at your recommendation. Uh, and his response to the State of the Union. Bill, thanks so much for coming today. Thank, thanks, Jerry. All right, coming up, one of the most quoted names in business saying imports may be drowning our economy and keeping jobs at bay, we'll explain. And tomorrow the president speaks to the nation. But if last year was any indication, don't expect too much. I'll break down what was left on the cutting room floor from 2011. That's coming up next. As the president.